Vince State Championship, beating Lunenburg three to two. So I guess like do it like something like long enough to do it. Hi and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm your host Tom Albert and uh, we have a great game today as it will be a front Frontier Redhawks uh, versus the uh, Mohawk team and um, so we're going to take a quick break and let them get set up here um, and we'll be back. Looks like that was a great strike by uh, Olivia Dean, a senior for Frontier, pitching um, against uh, Maya Lazier, who is. So uh, the count will be one and one here. That ball is uh, fouled off. And um, it was a great pitch there by uh, Olivia Dean to get ahead of the count. So Olivia Dean now with the wind up here. And that will be a strikeout for Olivia Dean. That will be a great start to the, the game for a, if you're a Red Ox fan. So now up to bat, number 11, Michaela Tatios. She'll get a ball. The front of the plate there. So now, uh, see what uh, sign the catcher gives to Olivia. It'll be a pop up. Shortstop in the uh, left fielder there racing for it, but uh, no one will get to it in time. So it can't be 1 1. So, Olivia Dean now. In the windup, pitches, and it looks like that'll be a ball. So it'll be a 2 1 count. It's a good hitter's count if you're a Mohawk fan. And it looks like now the count will be 2 2, as that was a great pitch by Olivia Dean, the senior for Frontier. And a great hit there, and it looks like that will drop. And she will take, she'll take off the second base. She'll get down, and a great hit for uh, Michaela Tados, shortstop for uh, Mohawk. 
So you have one out. Uh, this is the top of the first. Man on second. And uh, we'll see what Olivia Dean can hear here. Maybe get, uh, get out of there. Get out of this. That was a great pitch there uh, by uh, Olivia Dean. So you have an 0 1 count. She's in the windup. A little low. So the count will go 1 and 1 for uh, Grace Ward, the first baseman for Mohawk. She's used the three hole. She'll, uh, she'll take the lead in this bat. She's now uh, up in the count. Two, two, one. Olivia Dean winds up, and it looks like it's a pass ball. So, Michaela Santos will take, or no, Michaela. Tatos will take off to third, and she'll get a uh, stolen base. And now you have a runner in, uh, in scoring position for uh, Mohawk. As there's one out, and we'll see if uh, Olivia Dean can bring it back as 3-1 in the count. And it looks like it was a little low, but, um, so Grace Ward will take the walk. And now the four hole for, uh, Mohawk, Sophia, Sophia Guy, who's the third baseman. She's a man scoring position and a man on first. Wind up. It looks like that was still a little low. So Olivia needs to uh, pitch a little higher as the ump's not calling the low stuff. It looks like Grace Ward will take off the second there and have a standing up uh, stolen base. So now this is uh, if you're Frontier, you really want to get out of this. As they um they have uh two guys in scoring position. And it's three O. So uh we'll see if uh Frontier can do something here. Oh and she's swinging at three O <laughs> and the ball came my way. <laughs> Ball bounced off the fence and was heading my direction. So that was a great foul tip. So counts three one. And she's swinging and the dropped fly ball. So that was two runs will score and she'll. What a great hit and she'll have a standing up second. That second. Um, so see Sophia. Sophia Gray. Had a great two, B two RBI double. And now Mohawk in the first, top of the first, leading 2 0. So, uh, Olivia will now pitch it in. Maybe she can get away on this inning with only two earned runs. As, uh, Olean. Mafat will, number 13, the second baseman, will go up to bat, and you'll have one person in scoring position for Mohawk. So Olivia Dean will pitch it in. Really not getting anything from the ump there, um, as it now is 3 0 again. And 
That was a great strike there, bringing it back. Now it's 3-1. Uh, so, Olivia Dean will uh, pitch it in for Frontier. That one will be a little high, so she'll take her base. So if you're just joining us, it is 2 nothing. Um, Mohawk leading after this first inning as they scored two quick runs and a great double with two RBIs by uh, great uh, Sophia Gray. That was a good swing and a miss by uh, number 15, Rachel Peace, who's the center fielder for uh, Mohawk. Now Olivia Dean really uh, bringing the heat here, as now it's an 0-2 count. So you have a man on second and a man on first for Mohawk. As there's still only one out. Now there's two. <laughs> that is a great strike. Great strikeout if you're the pitcher. So now up to bat, you have the uh, left fielder, number eight, Addie Loom Loomis. And wow, Olivia Dean really not letting uh, those two RBIs get into her head. So that was a great pitch there, one, one strike. She'll go up 0-1 in this count. Now it'll be one ones. Two outs. And someone's stealing third. And that was a great play there by uh, Sophia, Sophia Gray, who got the um, the drop drop ball by the catcher, and she. Got that extra base. So the count's twos. I think. And that will be a great strike out there to end of the inning. So uh, we're going to take a quick break while uh, they switch sides. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by Attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrell Insurance. Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. Wow, and what a way to start it back up as Olivia Dean, who's just pitching for Frontier, just hit a home run. Wow, on the first pitch too. And she's getting muggled at home. What a way to start off the inning for Frontier. After, so now the score is uh, two to one in the bottom of the first. Three, 
So now you uh, for Frontier. Batting uh, second is number seven, Lucia Dulet. So that was a great way to start the inning there, and that will be a pass ball. She hits a grounder to shortstop. Can she beat it out? And it, she does. So uh, she'll be safe at first. Great hustle there by uh, Lucia Dillett. And now up to bat, you have her uh, her sister, Charlotte Dillett, who is um, batting in the three hole. Way to beat it out there by uh, Lucia. All right, so and for pitching for front or for Mohawk, you have number two Maya Lejeune. Um, so for your frontier, hopefully you can get the two runs back pretty quickly. That's a big swing and a miss by uh, Charlotte. Makes that. Yeah, delivery. Um, all right. <laughs> so uh, that was a great foul tip. So now, uh, my Legere leading in the leading in the pitch count, uh, one and two. Charlotte Delette now has to protect. She gets the pitch. It's kind of a pop-up. Two people are calling for it, and it looks like that will be the first out in the inning. Caught by uh, second baseman Olusen Mafat for uh, Mohawk. So now up to bat, coming up to bat is uh, number 12, CC Green. And Lucia Dillette will, on a pass ball, will have a stand-up stolen base. So now uh, the count's 1-0. CC Green. Swings, the line drive, but it's dropped! And it looks like it will be bobbled um, there. And so CC Green will have a... Uh, Nice single there for uh, Frontier. She'll move Lucia Dillette over to uh, third. And now up to bat, number 21, Macy Ring. Now will be a foul tip as uh, CeCe Green is looking to Steal second there is, um, they will not throw down a second as who should do that will probably score if they did. Um, Macy Ring with the pitch and a uh, good stolen base there by CC Green. So, uh, Macy trying to get Frontier back to lead as uh, Mohawk scored two runs in that first inning. So Macy Ring will wait the pitch. She'll foul it, and it looks like the wind will push it way back. It'll be out of play. Uh, so the count is twos. It's two and two. So uh, 
big pitch here. And that'll be low. So now you'll have a full count. 3-2. So let's get a... Either walk or a hit here. She'll swing. And that'll be a ground ball up the middle. And it looks like two, two runs will score. And Macy will get a set... A standing up double or sliding double excuse me what a great play there as they were throwing it in she took off the second they couldn't do anything about it. so that'll be a great two RBI hit by uh, Macy Ring a senior for Frontier so uh, I want that ball we be in the dirt as um, number eight, Michaela Santos, will be up to bat for Frontier. Uh, the count is one and zero. Now two and zero. So now Frontier is leading three to two in this game. Only first inning, she'll. Bunt, but she missed the bunt, and no one's covering third. Maybe it was a fake bunt there, so Macy will steal third. And uh, now you have someone scoring position, and all it takes is a single. And it looks like Macy will take it off the home. It's, it should be safe because Maya dropped the ball. And now Frontier taking the lead for nothing. Or four twos, excuse me. So uh, the count's twos, two and two. Okay, the Santa's waiting the pitch. And that one will be in the dirt, so now it's gonna be a full count. Three two. Oh, and that'll be strike three. So, a strike out there by uh, Michael Santos. Uh, Maya Legier picking up a strike out on the game. And now, two outs. Number 15, uh, Delaney Fifield will take it in the bat. And she'll swing on the first pitch. And it looks like it was a hard hit ground ball. And she'll. she'll Take a standing up first. So a great hit there by uh, Delaney Freefield. So now up to bat number 18, Ashley Taylor. My Lejeur taking a lot of pitches in this first inning. Frontier having a rowdy bench over there, um, as expected, and she'll hit a hard ground to third and have a nice play to first, and that will be three outs. So they're Frontier now leading after the first inning, four to two. Um, so they're going to take a quick break, and so will we. And welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm your host, Tom Albert. And uh, we have a great game after the first first inning. Um, Frontier leading 4-2. So uh, that first pitch, I think, is a strike. So Olivia Dean taking lead in this count. Two strikes to no balls. And that will be a strike out. One down for uh, Frontier. And that was uh, Sophia Boudreau, uh, the right fielder for Mohawk, who struck out. And now number five, who's batting in the nine hole, uh, Kyle Henry, who is the uh, catcher 
for Mohawk. So it looks like the count will be one and one. So Levidine in her wind up. She'll pitch. Now it looks like it'll be another foul ball. So the uh the count is one and one and two. Kyle Kyle batting, or Kyle Henry not backing down as she keeps fouling it off. Um, so the count is still one and two. So Olivia Dean in the windup. And another foul ball. That is uh, four straight foul balls in a row. So. We'll see uh, if Kyle can get something going here for Mohawk. Finally a ball there. So now uh, it'll be 2-2. Two -two. So you have uh, one out here. And, uh, Frontier trying to make it two. And that another foul ball. So I think that is uh, five better away. So Kyle Henry doing a great job of protecting the plate there. It's a great at bat. Still twos though. We'll see if uh There we go. That one's in play and it looks like Wow, what a play there! What a catch by Macy Ring. Is she uh don't lay out for that one. <laughs> what a play for Frontiers, Ma Macy Ring. So uh, we have top of the order, uh, Maya Lashier, number two. She'll bond, and it looks like that one will be foul. So now Frontier may know what's coming. Um, So the count's 0-1 after that uh, bunt that just barely went foul. Olivia Dean in the windup. She'll pitch and that one will go straight up. No one called it though and it, that one will drop. So you have an error there um, on Frontier's behalf. I think more of a mental error. There's no one, no one called it. So uh, Maya will be at first base now. Um, is, and now up to bat you have number 11 Michaela Tethos she hits a great line drive right over the second base's head and what a nice line drive there by um, Michaela Tethos the shortstop for Mohawk so now you have Grace Ward up to bat number uh, number 4 for a uh, mohawk she gets the pitch this one is kind of on the line and it stayed stayed fair and charlotte Dula will tag the runner so that was a great play there uh by um frontier and a great p catch there by uh, macy ring making that diving attempt and uh they're gonna take a break and so will we Hi, and welcome back to uh, Frontier Community Access Television, as um, Frontier is leading 4-2 to two in the bottom of the second, uh, coming off a great uh, pitching, er, pitching experience from Olivia Dean. So the count is 1-1, uh, one one as 
number three, Mulaney Ring. I'll be up to bat for Frontier. So now the count is uh, one and two, as that was a strike. So now she's got to protect. Gets the pitch, and she fouls it off. So, um, Maya Legere pushing in a great, oh, a great line drive, great contact there by uh, Mulaney Ring as it um, was hit just the wrong spot. And um, shortstop number 11, Michaela Tatos uh, made a great play there to catch the ball. And now, uh, now up the bat you have Olivia Dean, who is the uh, pitcher for Frontier, and she she let off the second inning with a home run, or the first inning with a home run. Nope. Sorry. A great contact swing, and it looks like she'll have a nice standing up sec single. <laughs> sorry there. So a great way and now it looks like um, number 11 Chloe Cutting will pinch run for Olivia Dean and now up to bat you have number 7 Lucia Dulet, who had a good single in the first So some signs from the coach, um, Mr. Dean. So Lucia Dillat will take a ball there. So the count's 1-0. Maya throwing it in. And a great contact swing uh, to the center fielder. It'll bounce around. Looks like... Chloe Cutting will try to get waved around. And she will score for Frontier. What a great hit by uh, Lucia Dulet. And she'll have a standing up double. And now up to bat, a senior for Frontier, Charlotte Dulet. Let's see if Charlotte can do something here for Frontier. And looks like that one is a long fly ball. And that one will be over the fence. So a two-run home run by Charlotte Dulet. Round in third. And it looks like she will get jumped on at home. <laughs> what a great inning for Frontier so far as they... Uh, They score uh, three runs there, or two run, two run homer and a RBI double by uh, Lucia Dulet. So uh, now the score is seven to two. Uh, that one is straight up. The catcher couldn't see it though, and she'll reach first. And uh, number twelve, Cece Green, will get a single. So now up to bat, a great hitter and a senior for Frontier, Macy Ring, number 21. She'll come out swinging and that one will uh, foul off. And so Mr. Dean, the coach for, for, uh, 
Frontier is going to pinch run again. And it looks like uh, number six, Savannah Upton, will pinch run for Frontier as she is a senior for Frontier. And, and she'll get a uh, stolen base there. Because it was a swing and the miss, and then the catcher kind of lost it. So uh, Macy Ring will have a 0-2 count. And that one will be in the dirt. And that one will be a great contact swing. It looks like it will stay fair. That one will bounce off the wall. The left fielder trying to get in. And it will be overthrown. So Macy Ring will take off the third. And she'll get an RBI on that. What a great job by... Uh, Macy Ring, the shortstop for Frontier. And now, up to bat, number eight, Michaela Santos. So now the lead is eight to two. And now one will go back to the pitcher. She'll look the runner back. And a great play by uh, Maya Legere. As it was grounded back to her. She looked the runner back. Threw it over to first. Making that out. So now I think uh, you'll have two outs. Um, and now uh, Delaney Fifield. Number 15 for Frontier will have in a bat. And she'll come out swinging and uh, looks like let's hit over to the third base side now I'm going to be in the dirt Swing and the miss. Great pitch by uh, my loser. So now the count will be one and two, I think. So now you'll have a uh, count two and two. See if uh, Delaney Fifield can get that last runner in. Swings, grounded to short, bobbles the ball around, and she'll be safe. Getting back to the back. What a great hit and an RBI for uh, Delaney Fifield. And now up to bat, you have number. Eighteen, Ashley Taylor, and she'll hit a come out swing and hit it to the center fielder. She'll ball it around a little bit and a great single. All right, so a number three, Mulaney Ring, will be up to bat. And uh, you'll have second and first and second, two outs. Um, we'll see if she can do something here. That's a pop-up to the center fielder who will catch it. To end the inning. So Frontier picking up 
couple runs there as it will be nine to two now and uh, they're gonna take a break and so will we Hi and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Um, you got a great double there by um, uh, number nine, uh, Sophia Guy from Mohawk. All right, so now up to bat is uh, number thirteen, Aline Mofat. So, we'll see if uh, Aline can do something here. A grounder to short. They'll get the out though, and she'll move over the she'll move the runner over to third. Get someone in good scoring position. So a great play there by uh, Macy Ring to Charlotte Dulette. And now. Uh, up to bat, who's batting in the six hole. Um, number 15, Rachel Pease, who's also the center fielder for um, Mohawk. We'll see uh, what Olivia Dean can do here. Um, she pitches in, and a nice swing, nice cut there by uh, Rachel Pease. A great pitch. So, a little low there. But a great job by the catcher um, for Frontier. So, a nice great pitch. And it looks like she will strike out. So there's uh, two outs. As uh, now up to bat, you have a uh, number eight, Addie Loomis. Yeah. I thought I thought it. Yeah. I was right. All right, uh, so Addy Loomis will take the pitch there. It's coming my way. <laughs> Wish I had my glove. Could have got it. <laughs> yeah, we're in. We're definitely in foul territory over here. Um, <laughs> So, Olivia Dean now pitching into uh, Addie Loomis. That one will be a little, little low. <laughs> so, uh, Addie Loomis will, uh, will have an, another chance here. And that one looked down the middle, but maybe it was off to the left. Actually, the ump said a little high. So, the count, I think, is two and two. Olivia Dean pitches in. And a strike out looking. And a great way to end the inning, <laughs> as uh, that will be three outs. So, uh, they're going to take a break, and so will we.
All right, hi, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. You have uh, Frontier on top, nine to two. It is now the bottom of the third. Olivia Dean, who has a home run in the game, will be up to bat. The pitcher still being for Mohawk, Maya Lisher. So Olivia Dean waiting the pitch. That one will be in the dirt. So the count, 1-0. And, oh. and that will be a strike. That was definitely... From over here, it looked a little low. But, um... So the count's 1-1. One and one. And that one will the dirt and it will be a 2-1 count that one will be high so it's a 3-1 count this is definitely a hitter's count you want to wait for your for the right pitch there's a lot of wind over here <laughs> it's a very windy day and Olivia Dean will take her base so she has a home run and a walk on this game And now up to bat, you have, uh, who has an RBI in the game, Lucia Dulet, number seven. And she, crack of the bat, that one will be over the fence. And that's a home run for Lucia Dulet, two run homer. What a great swing. And now that she is crowded on the plate. What a hit and what a swing. <laughs> so now it is 11 to 2, Frontier leading. So now up to bat, you have uh, Lucia's sister, Charlotte Dulette, a senior for Frontier. See if Charlotte, Charlotte Dulette can do something here. She has a two-run home run in this, uh, this game so far. So, uh, we'll see what, uh, Frontier can do here. Uh, and Charlotte bats that one off. That was a long foul ball. So, Charlotte gonna have to protect here. Definitely a good eye there. Waiting for the right pitch to take. She, yet again, um, RP, she has a two run home run in the game, just like her sister, who just hit one. Charlotte really battling here. So we'll see what uh, Charlotte can do. As you, I think you have a one, two, or well, no, I'm sorry. Get a full count there. And Charlotte Dillette will take her base. So now at the bat, you have number 12, CC Green. Let's see what Frontier can do here. Um, Frontier really not letting up on the brakes as they, uh, what a hit to right field as, uh, she'll get it in, but Charlotte Dillette will make her way to third, and a great hit there by, uh, Frontier's CC Green. So 
So now you have a uh, third and first with a senior, Macy Ring, now up to bat. And she has some RBIs in the game. We'll see what she can do. And CC Green will take off the second. And she'll have a standing up stolen base. So Macy Ring waiting her pitch. And it is up in the air. Catcher makes a great catch. Oh, and yeah, it's definitely a great catch. I think there is one out. So now at the bat for Frontier, you have number eight, Michaela Santos. So that ball will be uh, a little way. So the count is one and one and zero. Oh. So now the count will be one and one. Kayla Santos trying to do something here with Charlotte Dillette on third and CC Green on second. A hit maybe we'll score two. Yeah. Kayla Santos waiting for hers. Um. And that ball. That will be uh, out of play. A foul ball towards our ways, almost hitting some fans. So now the count is uh, two and two. Holds the swing. And now you'll have a uh, full count. And it looks like Charlotte Dillette, the ball was thrown around a bit. She'll go to, she'll steal home. And CC will steal third. What a great play, heads up play there by uh, a senior for Frontier. So now the count, I think, is still a uh, still full count. And that one will be step on first. Wow. Great RBI single there by uh, Michaela Santos. Wasn't hard hit to first base, but um, well, or an out, <laughs> uh, an RBI uh, hit. So she, Michaela did her job there, getting the getting that last run in. So, uh, you have 13 to 2, and it's still the bottom of the third. Maybe, uh, Milo Sher can get her team out of this one. And that one will drop. I think that, uh, number 10, Amanda Canapa, will have a nice single there. I think, uh, one problem with Mo Mohawk right now is their outfielders are playing really deep, so they can't get those singles that are short. So now up to bat, you have number 16, uh, Julian Appenel. And uh, as I say, that Amanda Canepa is still second on a pass ball. So the count is 1-0. Oh. Now 1-1. One and one. A great hit there. It's pop up to the right fielder. She's right under it. Oh, and 
I think she lost it in the sun, so she'll get it in. But Amanda Canepa will end up scoring for Frontier. So now it is 14 to 2. And a great hit by uh, Julian Appenow. So now you have um, up to bat, now batting, number six, Savannah Upton. First pitch will uh, be a swing of the miss. So 0-1. Uh, Julian Appenau on second. She had a great RBI. It was a deep fly ball in the Right fielder just lost on the sun. Um, so now um, Savannah Upton, senior for Frontier, maybe she can do something here. Uh, that one was a little high. Um, Savannah fell. Uh, Following it off there. Um, I think the count is twos. So two and two. And that will be a strikeout to end the inning. So a great inning there by Frontiers. Now they take the lead 14 to two. So they're gonna take a break and so will we. Hi, and welcome back to uh, Frontier Community Access Television. I'm your host, Tom Albert, joined with uh, a lot of the FCAT crew. Um, so, up to bat, you have number 20, Sophia Broadwell, Bro Boudreaux, and she's in the eight hole. So the count is one and one. Uh, Olivia Dean pitched it in, and that one will be a strike. Great strike. So now you have, uh, I think, either one and two or two and two. Olivia Dean in wind up. That one will be in the dirt. And it looks like that was on my bad, but um <laughs> they will that will be a walk. <laughs> so it was a full count there. Alright, so uh, now up to bat in the nine hole is Kyle Henry. The catcher for uh Mohawk. We'll see if she can do something here, um, as Mohawk needs to make up a lot of ground in this game. It is the uh, top of the fourth, if you're just joining us. That, that pitch will be a little low. A lot of sports activities going around today. You have a varsity baseball game, varsity softball, and a varsity girls track meet. So, Olivia Dean needs to make her way back in the scout, as it is 2-0. Kyle may be doing something here. She swings, and it's a foul on the tip. Foul tip. Uh, you have a 2-1 count. So this is a good hitter's count. Olivia Dean will pitch it in, and it will, oh, and it looks like they'll have a standing up steal for uh, Sophia, Sophia Boudreaux. So, 
so uh, a lot of wind over here. Um, a great contact swing. Now one's going to drop. Great hit by Kyle. And they're not going to wave uh, Sophia Pedro around. But a great contact swing, and it dropped um, in the outfield. And if you're Frontier, way to get it in quickly there. But, um, so now the leadoff man, Maya Lejeur, who's the pitcher for Mohawk, number two. So that first pitch will be a ball. It'll be one and out in the first, uh, pitch. Comes the second, and it's a pop up. To the shortstop and a great play there by uh, a senior for Frontier, Macy Ring. So you got one down or one out. And now number eleven, Michaela Tatos, shortstop for Mohawk will be up. So, Olivia Green trying to get out of this inning without any earned runs. But you have uh, Sophia Boudreau over at third. And uh, number five, Kyle Henry at first. As she has, she has that great hit to right field. So, Michaela Tatos awaiting the pitch. She foul tips. Coming over my way. <laughs> no problem. And that ground over is hit over to us. <laughs> and uh, it looks like the count will be two and one. Another pop up to Macy Ring. She will catch that one, and that will make it two outs. So now at the bat, uh, number four, Grace Ward for Mohawk. Two now, so you have a two and zero count. So uh, Olivia Dean now in her windup throws in a great contact swing and it finds the gap. So one run will score for Mohawk and a great single there for uh, Grace Ward as uh, Kyle Henry will go over to second. So now batting. Um, number number nine, um, Sophia Gray. Great pitch there by uh, Olivia Dean. She has been pitching very well in this game, and only letting up three runs to um, Mohawks fourteen. Ooh, and that was a hard foul tip over to the Mohawk dugout. So, the count is 0-2. Livy Dean in the windup, which is a little high. And, uh, Sophia, Sophia laying off that high cheese. So, uh, we'll see if she can do something here. Train 
It was probably a little distracting there, and uh, you'll have a strikeout to end the inning. Or end the top of the inning. So they're going to take a break, and so will we. Hi, and welcome back to uh, Frontier Community Access <laughs> Television. I'm your host, Tom Albert, joined with the FCAT crew. Um, the count is oh, one and one. And that won't be caught by the catcher, but she made a great catch in the, uh, the other inning. So, Olivia Dean with a new life here. Um, one, the count is one and one. We'll see what... Uh, Senior for Frontier can do as she is Hobart in this game. And she's doing a great um, job pitching. So now the count is three and one. That one's a Hard foul tip. That will now be a uh, full one. And it will be 3 2. So she's got to protect here, or if the bad pitch, lay off. She will protect. It's a good battle here by uh, the opposing pitchers. Maya is here doing a good job for uh, Mohawk. And Olivia Dean will be walked. So now at the bat, who has a home run, or two run home run, Lucia Dulette, number seven. Hard to ground her the pitcher, and she'll go one with it. So Lucia Dillette will uh, move the runner, put Olivia Dean into scoring position. Yeah. <laughs> now up to bat, number 13, Charlotte Dillette. She hits a hard grounder to short, who gets it, and that will be an out. What a hard hit ball though. Quick reflexes over there at short. So Olivia Dean now she was moved. Uh, she was walked and then moved over to first and second. Moved over to second by uh, Lucia Dillette. And then that one she moved over to third. So now batting you have number 12. Uh, CC Green. So we'll see what CC Green can do here. She's a batter in scoring position, and it's hard to ball to the third baseman. So she'll get an RBI single. Great job by uh, CC Green. Now batting number uh, 21, Macy Ring. See what Macy can do here. She gets the pitch, and it was fouled and out of play. So the score is now 15-3. Uh, she waits the pitch. It's now the count is uh, one and one. Oh, what a hard hit line drive up the middle. CC Green taking off to third. Macy over to second. And what a great contact swing, swing by uh, Macy Ring, senior for Frontier. So now, now batting number eight, Michaela Santos. Base hits, base hits could score two here. 
that won't be a strike. So that count is a uh, own one. So Maya Maya Legere taking uh, taking the lead in this one. See what Michaela Santos can do here. Uh, so the count is 0 and 2. We'll see what Michaela Santos does, and she'll uh, take, take the ball in the dirt. Good eye. She's gonna wait for hers, but she also has to protect, as uh, she has two strikes on her, and uh, two people in scoring position. And that one is thrown over the back, but. Oh, I, I think they missed the tag there, but uh, CC Green will steal home, making it 16 to three. So now uh, Michaela Santos now only has to worry about getting one runner in. Base hits definitely scores a run. And I think we have a full count here. We'll see what... Uh, so Michaela Santos obviously has to protect. Gets a pitch, and that one's thrown high. She'll take her base. So great at bat by uh, Michaela Santos. And now batting, number 10. Amanda Canepa. We'll see what Amanda Canepa can do here. So the count is now 1 0. That one was first in the dirt. Great hit. And that one will find the gap. That will get an RBI. Michaela Santos taking out the third. And she is called out on a bit of a controversial call there to end the inning. So now it is the bottom, well, top of the fifth, as that will conclude the bottom of the fourth. Frontier leading 16-3. <laughs> and uh, I think... Mohawk has to score in this inning. Otherwise, there will be a mercy rule. Um, and they're going to take a break, and so will we. Hi, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm your host, uh, Tom Albert, joined alongside me is uh, the FCAT crew. So I think uh, Olivia Dean will be done for the day for pitching, and uh, incoming is uh, sophomore Jillian Apineau. Uh And the count is the count is one and one. And that was honestly a great performance by Olivia Dean. Only giving up three runs. So that one, that one was a little wild pitch, but uh, it will be in the dirt. So uh, batting is uh, Aline Mafat, um, number 13. Number 13, I believe. So now Jillian Apinal will have to bring it all the way back here. This is a 3-1 count. Oh, and that one was a hard swing, and I think uh, I'll be off the ump. I think he's okay, though. It was off, I think it was first off the catcher and then the ump. So, uh... That one will be a little high, and she will take her base. So now batting, uh, number 15, Rachel Peace, the center fielder for uh, Mohawk. So 
So uh, there will be a catcher. We'll go out to the mound. I think fix a hole out there. So uh, Rachel P is waiting for the pitch. Julian Apple in the wind up. She'll pitch it in. And it will be a, uh, a ball. I think a little off to the left of the plate. So the count is uh, one and zero. Oh. Now one and one. And a quick play there by uh, CC Green to get it over to Charlotte Dillette, making sure the uh, the runner is awake. So now uh, John Apple in the windup, and that one will be out of play. Will hit something over there. <laughs> um. Count is now 2 1. That's definitely a hitter's count as um, she'll look for, she'll wait for hers. She'll, she'll get, what a hit there <laughs> um, to the center field as a uh, Macy Ring could not make the play, but a great effort. Um, so now you have uh, first and second with number eight, Addie Loomis. The left fielder for Mohawk. So Jillian Apano in the windup. And that won't be that won't be a ball. So the count's now one and zero. Great foul tip, and it will be a two and zero count. Or no, one and one. Sorry. <laughs> Juno Apano now in the windup. Pitch it in, and that is a great strike. That's the one you want to take if you're the batter. So now you have a 1 2 count. Got to protect. Great hit, and it is in the gap up the center field. And I think it will be a great, great effort getting in by uh, the center fielder there. Stop a run squ from scoring. So uh, the bases will be loaded for number seven, Riley Gerard. That was a great strike by uh, Jillian Apano, the pitcher for uh, Frontier. She's in the windup. Another strike. <coughs> so all it takes is one more pitch, and that one will be in the dirt so now you have a, a one two count with we'll see if uh, number seven can do something here great block by uh, CC Green catcher for Frontier to stop that runs from on third scoring. Um, see if Riley can do something here. Great way, great protect. Great foul tip there. So uh, the count is still one and two, or two and two, sorry. Um, and a great at bat by uh, Riley. Gerard. We'll see if uh, see if Julian Apinel can finish off this batter. That one will be in the dirt. So now it is a full count. Either foul it off, make a hit, or uh, take your base. She fouled it off. What a great battle by uh, Riley Gerard. <laughs> See ya. Uh, and that'll be strike three. What an bat and what a great battle. And good way to finish it by uh, Jillian Apinel. The base is loaded too. 
So I think you have one out with now number five, Kyle Henry. Now up to bat. Um, so we'll see if Kyle can get a hit here as she has a hit in the uh, in la last inning. So now uh, two strikes on the batter. And strike three, but uh, the bases are loaded. So two outs. Two strikeouts right in a row. Great uh, pitching performance by Jillian Appenell. And the bases are loaded. So uh, we'll see if she can finish, finish, uh, finish the game off here. Myler Sure, the, the opposing pitcher for uh, Mohawk, is now at the bat. Um, we'll see if she can do something here and maybe score a couple runs. That one's a little low. Myler's waiting for hers. That was a strike. So the count's two and one. We'll see if Maya can do something here. It's a good hitter's count. Julian pitches in, fouls it off. So now the count is two and two. Maya's got to protect here. Julian in the windup. Fouls it off. I needs to protect here. And string and strike three. So uh, that will end the inning, or the end of the, the first half of the inning. So, uh... The score is 16-3, to three and it looks like that will finish the game so what a great game by uh, Frontier Red Ox as they win this one 16 to 3 Olivia Dean with the home run Charlotte Dillette with a two run home run and Lucia Dillette with another two run, run home run ultimately a great game um, defensively and offensively for Frontier and you can't count Mohawk out as they had a great performance too so I was your host Tom Albert joined alongside with the FCAT crew and we will see you next time